Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Naresh and in today's quick tutorial, we are going to create Vox style text match cut animation that I learned long time ago. As we are hearing the increasing case of monkeypox, I felt nostalgic and thought of creating this tutorial that I learned. So let's jump in. Alright, so first of all, uh, we required a screenshot from the newspaper or the news clippings from the internet so you can just take a screenshot of the news and you can import it so i have taken almost 15 to 16 screenshot that would be okay either you can directly use this screenshot or you can uh, like let me quickly demonstrate to remove the white background and just uh, only keeping the text uh, you can either remove the background or you can directly use this screenshot and using the various blending mode you can set your text and inside the after effects as well so let us uh, learn how to remove the background so these are the screenshot i have saved so let me quickly select this screenshot and place it over here all right so uh, this is the screenshot i have uh, pasted here go to select menu then from it select this color range then it will uh, color picker and click on this white background then click ok so it will select it and press delete so if you get this message then uh, just deselect it and convert it to smart object and convert it to uh, rasterize the layer. okay again go back to select menu color range select this white color click ok and press delete so you can see here it has uh, removed the white color so it is now clean text now we want to place it in a center of the text we want this uh, monkey pox text to be a uh, in the center or this our focus so uh, how we can do that we just uh, we can add this we can add here ruler and using that uh, ruler we can add the guiding line in the center so i'm adding it switch on the background so we have this one line here and then this is another line and we can pick one line from here on the line and this is almost center of our canvas so we can set our text here just like this and we are going to enlarge it just like this so this is how we can do for the rest of the text as well all right so we can do it for the rest of the text and we can save it as a png file this is like the background and i am exporting it as a png file all right so now we have two folder one is this png uh, sorts where i have removed the uh, white background and another where i have this plain screenshot so both we can use so I will demonstrate both the method. All right. So let's start by creating a new composition. Let's call it master. 10 second duration and 9020 by 1080. All right. So first let me demonstrate quickly how to use the screenshot. So if you are using screenshot. All right. So I have added this background. So if you are using this uh, uh, screenshot, then you have to change the blending mode to multiply. So this is how it can be. Uh, this things goes. And another thing is the like in case of PNG uh, processed in the Photoshop, it has already uh, we have already placed our monkeypox text in the center. But in this case, screenshot case, it would be not there. So just press option plus 
apostrophe so you will have this guide and using this guide you can set your text in the center and you can scale it okay i am aligning it here similarly for the second text also just align it i have trimmed it here so for the second text also scale it all right so directly you can use this screenshot also but i'm not going to use this screenshot but i'm going to use this pn those png file and rest of the process is same okay so let me add all that png file here so we have around 10 png file let me add the texture background all right so select this last three layer that we want to place it at the gap of 9 or 10 frames so select that press command key and press the right arrow 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 all right now trim that using the option or alt plus this bracket all right so it been been trimmed all right now just uh, move your playhead at the beginning and use this our motion tool pro panel that i discussed in my previous video free plugins that are useful in after effect you can watch that video if you want and uh, we are going to select this keyframe 10 keyframe we are going to move and then press this sequence icon so it will be placed okay so this is the rule that the first three images are having the gap then later on uh, you can move the screen or the frame fast all right so for the rest of the layer uh, for the rest of the uh, layer let us select again press command key and move one two three four frame and then trim it all right again come at the beginning and here use amount four and then sequence them then select them and place it over here all right then the rest of the layer again command one two three trim it come to beginning select here three and sequence them and bring it over here all right we can close it now so let me check all right so perfect so it is having this sequence and it is already looking good all right now select all the layer and pre-compose let me call it as a new skirt click ok all right for this uh, background layer uh, it does not have that crumple movement so that we can do so just select it press p and holding shift press r and also press s all right then add keyframe to all now let us do the rotation it is already having this large scale right so let us change this scale all right then move to few frame six or so then change this position then also change this scale change this rotation slightly again go back to six frame do the rotation scale it down can go back to six frame do the rotation increase the scale change the position all right then select all this keyframe right click and click on toggle hold keyframe all right and you can select this first keyframe copy it and you can paste over here so it will have this crumple paper movement but it is stopping so as i discussed it in my previous video you can use this free plugin motion tool pro to save our time in 
writing a manual expression you can click over here and it will add a this expression can you see it looping expression so we don't have to manually write it now this will move all right now we can scale it little bit then we can add some extra sauce so let us select it and adding new adjustment layer then select this ellipse tool and create this around this mask around this our this keyword then add position blur effect increase the blur amount invert it go to mask feather and increase the feather increase the feather amount this is good all right now adding the new adjustment layer this time add vignette effect add double click or ellipse tool increase this vignette invert it go to mask and increase the feather amount let us split all right so this looks okay so either you can uh, design this or you can use this ready-made i will be providing it in the uh, description link you can download it along with the project file this is free resource i have downloaded from the excel website another thing we can add here is we can zoom it out so select this composition place as add keyframe and come to here and give it a little scale All right and then select both the keyframe and place f9 for easy then right click and add new adjustment layer then press p for the position keep holding alt key add expression window right posterized time well press enter and add wiggle expression 222 comma 2 so it will give kind of handheld camera kind of movement so you can place this layer over this uh, pre-composition and change its blending mode to overlay rather than keeping it in the background then you can bring about the variation like uh, decompose everything all right and convert it to 3d press p and press shift and r so it's a position this is the final position we want so add keyframe here then in the initial position let us change this x rotation just like this also change this y rotation like this and we can zoom it like this and in the final let's play select keyframe and press f9 so it depends upon the personal preference but if you want then you can also add this uh, highlighter effect so let me select this end tool with fill on and crop color to yellow and we can add this increase the stop width all right and we can change its ending mode to overlay or we can change to to multiply this is looking good and if these options are not visible just uh, click it here toggle switch is mode i forgot to tell you so it has different option like 3d and all and this is having the different option all right you can add nice turbulent displacement effect to this thing change it to 30 and now the final thing is to add a sound so we can use this old camera so we can use this old camera light is changing now we can add deep riser rising the speed is catching up at that point we can add the background music that i have downloaded from epidemic sound music. 
all right see you in the next video bye bye